Next up on WTV, upcoming half days and Spanish projects. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Red Hawk Nation. Today is Wednesday, May 15th, and I'm Sadie Johnson with today's daily update brought to you by Wingspan TV. So this Friday, students have a half day and WTV has the details. Students will have a half day for the last day of the school year on Friday, with dismissal being at 1 p.m. The early end time is due to ongoing graduation ceremonies starting Friday and carrying throughout the weekend. The first graduation will be Wakeland High School on Friday at 5.30 p.m., and the last graduation will be Panther Creek High School on Sunday at 8 p.m. As for Liberty, the Class of 2024 graduation ceremony will take place Saturday at 2 p.m. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. As the year comes to an end, Spanish 2 is going through their end-of-the-year projects. WTV's Vidarth Redinaga has the details. The students of Spanish 2 are reading a book named Robo en el Noche, which will be their last grade of the year. Um, we're currently reading Robo en la Noche in our Level 2 class. It's a novel um, that helps students who are learning to speak Spanish um, read through comprehensible input. So it is at an intermediate Spanish level and the book is about Costa Rican culture. It ties into also our trip that we're planning next year to Costa Rica. So it hopefully gets students excited about maybe joining us on that trip as well. Thousands of students read Robo en el Noche as part of their Spanish course. For those who don't know, Robo en el Noche means robbery at night. The book is about a girl who moves to a different country and she's struggling because it's like really hard for her leaving her mom and her sister and she only comes with her dad. And I really like this project because we, it's more fun than just doing regular practices and we can actually read a book and a story in a language that we've been learning all year. Reporting for WTV, I'm Vera Freddy Naga. On today's Wingspan Wrapped, we take a look at Mr. Harris's honeybee farm. Many people see Jason Harris as stern, but outside of school, he owns a business that is very important to him. Located in Northwest Mississippi, Harris owns a farm that he rents out as a bed and breakfast. Going to Mississippi at least twice a month, Harris is always looking for different ways to make the farm stay more enjoyable for his guests. Uh, there's a lot that goes into the agritourism business, um, but your, 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 your center thing is to have, is to have somewhere for, uh, for people to stay, if they want to stay or not, farmhouse. Um, and then within that, you also have different agritourism activities, outdoor activities, horseback riding, uh, that sort of thing for them to go out and enjoy while they're there. A few years ago, Harris decided to do more of the farm and connected to his military service. So the whole concept start started probably in 2019. I um, was wanting to do something with the, the farm and having served in the military, I wanted to create a uh, environment for uh, military veterans and their families to come and to uh, just reconnect with themselves and also just be able to relax and uh, as I say, to just to find serenity to the soul. Part of the environment Harris is creating on the farm creates quite a buzz, literally. So you create this environment for people to come out and to enjoy nature. And so one of the things that we have are the honeybees. The honeybees, we have about 36, 37 honeybee hives. We do extract the honey um, once a year. Uh, we, um, after we do that, we do sell the honey. Um, and again, a certain percentage of that, those proceeds goes back to a nonprofit uh, military organization. It's an endeavor that is close to his heart, but it's a different story for his sophomore daughter, Jaden. To scream, probably. <laughs> he would laugh at me, and I don't know. He would probably, I don't even know what he would do. He would probably just think it's a fly or something. Although the buzzing of the bees may send Jaden scurrying away, the farm has proven to be therapeutic for his family. Because I served in the military, and then also my brother served in the military. Um, he, um, he actually has a lot of struggles with um, um, PTSD. Um, and so um, just seeing what he went through, and then him also uh, stayed probably about three years out at the farm. And in his own words, he said it really helped to help, help him reconnect with life and have a reason to to want to live and strive to, to, to you know, um, be a better father, uh, to be a better friend, and, and just to enjoy life from day to day. 
Harris would possibly be in Mississippi full-time if he had his way, but his daughter had other thoughts. He's asked me if I would be willing to move my sophomore year to go so he could go full-time and do that, but I said I wanted to stay here. So I think he's just really invested in like going and doing that full-time. Uh, yes, so my goal is to, uh, to do this full-time after I retire from education. Um, I'm hoping at some point in time that there is a, I have enough revenue coming in where um, these um, the agritourism activities and um, just the farm stay in general can be provided to military veterans and their families for free. Reporting for WTV, I'm Karina Groskoya. If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on X, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award-winning website, libertywingspan.com. And now for today's announcements. PTSA is accepting applications for the 2024-2025 PTSA Student Advisory Board. Current freshmen, sophomores, and juniors are eligible to apply. Applications are open until tomorrow. That's it for today's daily update. This is Sadie Johnson with Wingspan TV.